Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, today we're going to do a Spider-Man Miles Morales drawing. It's going to be a fan art, uh, basically inspired from the new movie that came out, Spider-Man Miles Morales Into the Spider-Verse. And we're going to see how well or how much I can interpret the movie with some different ideas that I have in my head, using some references that I got off of, got off of Pinterest, and see if I can be able to uh, do the drawing justice okay so let's go okay so starting off I'm gonna use these references that I got off of Pinterest I was inspired by the colors and the anatomy of the character and even though there is not this some of it is not miles but I was actually inspired by some of the Peter Parker uh, spider-man drawings as well some of the I just got some of the names for most of the artists and some the rest I couldn't find and I do apologize in advance if your artwork is here and I'm using it like this, but I do, I am just using this, these artworks as inspiration and I do apologize in advance. The names that I got, I'll show you here. Oh, Jeff, could you pull up names for me? Oh, thanks, Jeff. Uh, I also got um, some other images from the movies. So the movies had like, um, different glitching effects uh, like the universe in a sense like spider web so I was like inspired from that I was like okay fine let me just use that in my own interpretation and see how well I could bring the artwork to life all right so I need to tell you this but this is not my first spider-man drawing I actually drew two other spider-man drawings and I'm gonna show you them right here Thank you, Jeff. Um, so those were the previous drawings that I did of Spider-Man. This is the first Miles Morales, Miles Morales uh, drawing that I'm doing, fan art, illustration, and I wanted to give it justice because of the movie and how good it was. So yeah, I decided to use like a background for Miles because even when you're doing like a Spider-Man drawing, there's always gonna have like, the, there's always gonna be a challenge because the character is very energetic and has different move sets. So it's, so his anatomy is gonna be very tricky to deal with. And I want to give him a background basically with buildings because Spider-Man and you're gonna have buildings where you can be able to swing and guide and move from. And I decided to use like a two point perspective. Two point perspective is basically two vanishing points at both ends of the paper or canvas and you're gonna have two a line drawn connecting two of those points being the horizontal line which is like the, the landscape yeah landscape and then you're gonna have another line which is gonna be drawn directly in the middle which is gonna be the vertical line what's gonna happen next is that you're going to have lines that are going to be protruding out from the uh, ver from the vanishing points which are going to be like the uh, which are going to be diagonal diagonal lines so those lines which are going to be protruding out and meeting at the middle middle line though that will be your two-point perspective then I had another idea and I wanted to incorporate fisheye lens now the fisheye lens is like two-point perspective but it's more bent and curved like looking through a lens and the way you do a two uh, fisheye lens is good is that you're going to use like a five-point perspective so you're going to have the two same vanishing points at both ends drawing the horizontal line then you're going to have a vanishing point in the middle and then of that line and then you're going to draw another line which is going to be the vertical line and you're going to have two vanishing points at the top and below the vertical line then you're going to draw uh, arcs arcs are going to be drawn from each vertical from each vanishing point connecting each vanishing point so that's what i'm doing right here and i didn't actually use the fish islands to its fullest i just wanted to because i already have because after you draw the, the arcs you have to draw the lines that are coming from the middle which is the which is the middle uh, vanishing point i didn't do that because i already have the i already had the two point perspective at the back showing it so i wanted to incorporate that 
in a sense not to the fullest but to make it more energetic more lively and i think i managed to do a proper job So after when I was finished drawing the buildings, it was time to draw Miles. And I had some trouble trying to do his anatomy justice. Even with the, the way I had it in my brain, I didn't I wasn't able to fully capture it on the canvas. So I said, okay, let me just use another method, which is using a reference. So I use magic pose poser web, which is this site. And it's a site where you can be able to use a you can be able to use a model model and you can be able to put the model in a certain pose and then um, draw from it. So yeah, that's what I did, and it came out great. It came out, it came out looking well. So here's the rest of it, and I'm gonna show you here.
So when it came down to coloring, I wanted to use half tones. Half tones are basically cir small circles, like pattern of small circles, and you could be able to use like different colors in which you can make out like a shading effect on the character. And it's gonna have like a um, comic book version of that character that you're trying to draw like a more comic style and from the movie the the way they draw drew the characters it it always has that like this comic uh skin tone effect and i want to see how well i could do that and i went crazy with it because i started to like the idea and i started to love it so i, I got carried off carried away and um I was trying to see how well I could use it in other parts of the image, but I, I just said, okay, fine, let me not do any more because I didn't want to overcrowd the image. So here is the process of me using uh, half tones, and it was a good idea and I liked it. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to be born anew Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew Okay, so we're almost at the end of the video and I'm really glad on how this art piece came out. It came out very well and I'm glad I was able to put some of my art style, well, mostly my art style into this piece and also you doing like a, a more comic style in the, in the art style of the movie. But I'm really glad on how it came out and I'm thankful for everyone who watched the entire video and I hope you have a good day and I hope you please and I would like to say if you could just please like, leave a like, um, subscribe and leave a comment that would be good and uh, I just want to say um, thank you and I'll see you next time.